from. I was injured when I was 15 years old in January of 1981. I was rabbit hunting with a couple of buddies. We started goofing around, and one thing led to another. I ended up being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I was shot in the neck. The bullet had gone clean through. They were damaging the C2 vertebrae, but not severing the cord at all, leaving me paralyzed from the neck down. But I'm able to breathe. After a few months in the hospital, my doctor told me he had read about another doctor at Yellow Haven Hospital, put in the clinical stages of working with a device that stimulated the phrenic nerve, enabling patients to breathe. He played the to me and my family, and soon we were on our way to New Haven. We met Dr. William Glenn the day we arrived. He was a warm, personable man with just a hint of a southern accent. He reassured me to my parents that I would be well taken care of, but that it wouldn't be a short stay. Boy, he wasn't kidding. I was there for one week short of a year. The first surgery was to attack the electrode cup to the front nerve of my chest. First the right side, then two weeks later, the left side. A few weeks after that, the receivers were implanted. I still remember when the patients were turned on for the very first time. So I was lying in bed with a lot of people surrounding me. My mom, my Glenn, and the associates, Jim Hogan, and Millie Phelps, and several nurses. The room was filled with anticipation, but for me, nervousness. I wasn't sure what to expect. Being only 15 years old, I had quite an imagination. I was picturing myself being shocked to death by this electrical box being wired to my chest. But as soon as that on switch was flipped on, my fears went out the window, and I thought, this feels good. It was a natural feeling, the air was being drawn in, rather than being blown in by a loud, noisy machine. I liked it. It took several months to totally wean me off from, from the respirator. Dr. Glenn, was very meticulous. Every week, there'd be a battery of tests to go through to measure my progress, the condition of my diaphragm, and whatever else it was that Dr. Glenn was keeping track <clears throat> of. Eventually, I reached the milestone of pacing full time, 24 hours. I believe, I believe I'm his second patient to reach this point, and I've been pacing full-time ever since. And for those of you who didn't have the opportunity to meet Dr. Glenn, I brought a couple of pictures. Can you see the first picture? Oh, that now. Already. Okay. Um, that, that was taken the day before I, I left the hospital. That to be there nearly a year. Yeah. Um, one, one of my favorite pictures to just kind of show the, the bond that we formed over that one year. And this particular was taken 20 years later um, in New Hampshire at Dr. Glenn's residence. He was a great man. Um, I, I believe I've been blessed by God in many ways. But with the help of a tutor at the hospital, I kept up with my schoolwork and graduated with my high school class. I completed a one-year data processing program at a technical college and eventually ended up working as a computer programmer at a major insurance company in Portland, Maine, where I've been happily employed for 17 years. I have a beautiful, loving wife and a very comfortable home. 
I'm very content with my life right now, but feel certain that things would be drastically different that I not had the freedom or independence that the front of those pacers gave me. I've had only one bout with pneumonia, but overall, I'm very healthy. My deep gratitude goes to Dr. Glenn, Dr. Eli Teriades, the Young Lady Hospital, and of course, the AV Biomedical, for making such a dramatic difference in my life. Thank you.